The first custom-built electric fire engine now lives in Madison. It's fresh off the production line at Pierce Manufacturing up in Oshkosh. Very cool. Armand Rahman takes us aboard the new rig. Madison Fire Station 8 is shifting into new gears with a new supercharged fully electric ride. From the outside, it looks like a normal red fire truck. A normal red fire truck saves lives, but with the Pierce Volterra electric pumper, crews are also saving the environment. We're reducing emissions and we're still able to complete our mission. Pierce Manufacturing built a prototype electric engine that sparked the flame back in 2021. There's a lot more to power here than in an electric car. So you're not just propelling the vehicle, but also making sure that we can get water off the vehicle electrically, because that's a goal of ours. If, if you're going to sell a, a product that's zero emissions, it needs to do all of its job. Uh, with zero emissions, right? But to learn how to better electrify a whole fire truck, Pierce had to plug that prototype into the day-to-day -day life of one of Madison's busiest fire stations, Station 8, the first department to do so in the country. We learned a ton. The new rig yeah, features a 246 kilowatt hour battery, 30% bigger than the prototype. It has a range of 70 miles up from 45 miles. And the battery powers the engine, heater in the cab, and the water pumps. Typically, you know, you can get an hour and a half, two hours of pumping on a, on a normal situation situation off the battery alone. It also has a backup diesel engine, which the new transmission can switch to automatically. And that's just a safety net because when we're on scene, we could be on scene for for 20 minutes or we could be there for literally five days. And like normal fuel lines, Station 8 has a drop down DC fast charger. This truck can come back fully depleted and be recharged within 90 minutes. It's just like your, your phone, right? When it gets fully charged, it stops charging. It's the newest state-of-the-art fire engine in our fleet. We're proud of it. You can expect to see the new Volterra engine out on the streets right now. Reporting on the east side of Madison, Armand Rama, News 3 Now.